guys, we're back. We're gonna check out Prejuke today. Who's that Prejuke? I took it down. I'm gonna throw it on the scale. I think this weighed somewhere around 20, 20 pounds when we first did it. We're at 15.2 pounds or 6.9 kilos. I think this was around 9 kilos. Um, so nine and a half kilos when we originally put it up. So it's lost. If you figure uh, it was 20 pounds, it's lost about 25% of its weight. So we're not there yet. We want to go to 33%. We want this to lose about a, about a third of its weight total. But as you can see, it's cured and beautiful. Take a look at it nice and close. Everything's dry and nice. The bone... The smell is good. You can see up here at the hawk, everything's dried up. Um, it's got a nice. See, you can still, you can still push on it, but it's not hot as a rock. I mean, we don't want it solid as a rock. Um, but if you look, the skin's dried. This is just the salt that's coming out of it. Um, so it looks pretty good. But what we got to do, if we leave this alone. This is going to dry out. You see it's starting to crack? Um, it's going to dry out so much out here that the moisture in inside won't be able to get out. So what we've got to do is this is dry enough. So now we've got to cover this. this. We don't have to worry about the meat under the skin because the skin's protecting that. But this exposed meat, I don't want to over, I don't want it to get so hard that it traps the moisture inside and rots on the inside. So what we'll traditionally do is we're going to make up a paste. This is Crisco. I don't have any lard. Normally I would use lard, but just remember, lard will lard will uh, will go rancid or can go rancid. Um, this won't. So I've made up a paste of this. Probably a cup of Crisco in here and a cup, a cup and a half of flour, and then I just mixed it up so it's like a paste. And to that, I'm going to add black pepper. I'm going to put quite a bit of black pepper in. Again, this isn't a flavor because the, the, the prosciutto's already been seasoned when we cured it. This right now, they use the pepper, either crushed, crushed red pepper and black pepper, um, is more or less to, to keep the flies away from it. You don't want the flies to. And I'm going to put some black pepper on there. Crushed black pepper, uh, some crushed red pepper, sorry, and uh, mix this in. Careful because it's it'll go everywhere. I'll mix that right in there. And I'm not looking to, like I said, I'm not looking to season it. This is just gonna gonna keep the flies off of it. Um, if any flies should get into you where you're hanging your meats. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I just want to spread this out. Probably end up using my hands right in a minute, but let's just see if we can do it with a spoon first. Usually your hand is what, yeah, I'm going to end up with my hands. You spread it on there. You just want to make sure that everything's covered. what's going to happen is this paste is actually going to harden like a skin and this paste is going to be our new skin it's going to seal the moisture on the uh, going to seal off the, the meat and it'll actually harden up like Kind of like the skin, and it's gonna give us a barrier so that moisture can still get out, but um, it's gonna keep the the uh, the skin from hardening out completely. And now this is gonna go over, over everywhere where there's no skin. I might need to mix up a little bit more. We'll find out in a minute. Just force it right in there. 
and you're going to find that this is going to going to um, be sucked right inside the, the prosciutto over time. But it'll still be there at, doing its job, acting as a barrier, doing what it needs to do. Um, you don't need to worry about putting more on. After you do it the first time, you really shouldn't have to do it again. I said this is a little bit messy, but kind of is what it is, you know what I mean? You'll find it's going to all work out here. We're gonna just put this lab of this right on. Get it right in all the little cracks there. And this is gonna give us our our hedge against this thing over drying. Turn it into a brick. It says, prosciutto ain't no good if it's hot as a rock and you can't eat it. So let's get this in here. Pay particular attention to this. Any crackly spots, any spots that have a lot of, you know, little, uh, little nooks and crannies. You just want to make sure everything's covered. It's easy to let a hole go open. If, if you do, not a big deal. It's just going to, that may dry out and it's, it, you might have to waste a little bit when you, when you cut it. You know, as long as you're getting the majority of the face of this thing, you're going to be good. Again, you know, that's covered pretty well there. All right. Let me wash this off. I'll be right back. Hold on. Um, yeah, this don't come off well without hot water. Let me get some hot water here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take on that. Struggle with this water to get hot. We're going to take on now that we've got it all covered. We're actually going to just cover the outside, lightly sprinkle some more black pepper and some more. Uh, um, red pepper over that thing. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get that covered up uh, pretty good with the pepper because like I said that'll keep the, the flies off of it, that'll keep the, the bugs from doing what they do. Um, let me get this off my hands if I can. Let me watch it. Wait, I'm going to 